so well, guys. My stomach hurts. I can't move. Ah, my fucking mosh. <laughs> oh no. I don't know what to do. Well, I just fell off a bike. We were turning around a curb and you saw it was raining. Okay, so last time you saw me, I was at the hotel. We are walking to a scooter. Is this, is this spiky? Don't We're trying to go to a scooter. <laughs> it's for a fucking scooter! We're just trying to get a ride to the, the park. <laughs> we took a wrong turn, and <laughs> now we're here. Guys, this is dangerous, wild, bear whales. Fuck, there's a bug! <laughs> Basically, in Barcelona, there's something kind of like a bird where you can rent a scooter. The problem is, it's kind of like a game because to find it, it's like a sometimes it's like a 15 minute walk. This is Barcelona, and as you can tell, there's all of them are on the fucking beach. So we had to walk a few minutes to find a scooter. I want to catch you guys when we're at the park, um, which is another 15 minute drive. Yeah. Okay. It started raining, but we're currently at Park Guel. Park the Guel. 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 Park the Guel. Park Guel. Getting so close. Super cameraman, stop. Cameraman, stop. Cameraman, stop. As I told you guys, I'm having some problems with my stomach, so we do have to catch a flight at 5 p.m. But we're gonna show you guys around this park, uh, catch you guys up on some Barcelona culture, and then I'll catch you guys when we're having to leave the airport. And hopefully, I can shit. Guys, yeah, so update. <laughs> I'm not doing so well. I'm not doing so well. Guys, we're not doing so well. My stomach <laughs> hurts a lot. But I'm pushing through because, you know, I'm really grateful for every experience I have. It's just sometimes it's hard to smile from pain. So what's happening? There? Um, I haven't shit in five days. Really? Yeah. I thought you shot two days ago. Whenever I have panic attacks, I like to pull out my phone and use the call map. I'm actually not sponsored at all. I just pay way too much money for this shit. Um, so this is a call map and it says take a deep breath. And this is helping me to Take a deep breath. Okay. <laughs> so if you're watching at home right now. I look pathetic right now at this point. This is the real Jade. Like Jade struggles. I know Jade on the camera looks happy, spontaneous, successful, successful but really she has problems with her own health, living everyday life, breathing. I, I barely can fucking walk right now. <clears throat> Wait, what, how do you feel dealing with all this shit? I don't have to deal with it. I just film it. <laughs> a little music can't help. <laughs> it's, I think it's a little music can't do wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that move. Oh. Why? <laughs> Your stomach is gonna like rumble. Oh. What if this entire time I'm actually just pregnant <laughs> and like I think there's like a food baby? I don't know. One time I thought I was pregnant in fifth grade, so I have these scares sometimes. Maybe I actually am pregnant. But th that doesn't mean you can't shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just fell off a bike. <laughs> we were turning around a curb and you saw it was raining. So now I have a couple, a couple wounds. We're gonna get that fixed with some water and band-aids. But it was kind of traumatizing. I was like, I didn't expect Traumatizing? traumatizing. It's kind of traumatizing. I took off my helmet right when I we fell over the bike. Which you're not supposed to do. We're okay, we're alive though. Mom and dad, I'm okay, I'm alive. Cameraman got intern. Oh my god. So we're back and better than ever. By the way, if you're ever in Europe, if you ever see a sign like that flashing cross, it's typically a pharmacy. So we got our battle wounds covered up, good to go, no big deal. And now we're gonna go shopping. in Barcelona, heading to our flight to London! Alright guys, we're about to board our plane to London. Now honestly, throughout this entire video, I did not know what the heck I wanted to say. I have a list of things I wanted to do. There's so many things I want to give value to you guys, but for some reason, I didn't feel right. And I think it was back to, you cannot pour from an empty cup. It is extremely hard to give value, to make content, to make other people happy when you don't feel 100% yourself. Like, it's extremely hard. So to be very vulnerable, I'm not feeling so good physically. And in my mind, if I can't overcome this problem, I wasn't able to give you guys the best. So my biggest tip is when you ever are struggling physically to take care of your health. Like, there are so many times in this video where I dropped in, like, I'm trying to eat healthy, I'm trying to intermittent fast. And I'm trying to do all these things 
right after I give value, which doesn't make sense. So I think it's important to solidify your healthy foundation before you try to build a skyscraper, because it's all gonna topple for it. Like Rafi's probably sick and tired of me, like crumbling to the ground every time something small happens. It's just because my underlying foundation's not doing so well. And I'm hoping I actually go to the doctor to fix this. I think, are we gonna go to the doctor? Yeah. Okay. This vlog is a mess. I wanna give you guys the truth on how sometimes even someone like me who seems happy, um, you know, super bubbly and having all together at 17, it's not how it always seems. And to be very honest, I haven't been prioritizing my health or there's something wrong with me. So we're gonna figure that out first before we even continue this channel or else you guys are gonna be not gonna see something pretty. If you didn't know how to vlog channel, I'm gonna continue this story if Jade ever shits in part two. Maybe it's bowel movement problems or I don't even know. I will link it below, go subscribe and a shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you wanna be the next comment winner, all you gotta do is comment below. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for loving me and I love you. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Okay, we're here in the emergency department. We're almost at the hospital. I don't have any health insurance. I'm a doctor now.